<sighs> I don't really want to do it. I don't. I mean, I've been doing it for so many streams, so many years now. It's like if I don't do it, it's like I'm locked in. I like I have to do it. I have to do it. I don't see a way out. <sighs> pre-show music. This is the pre-show music. Pre-show music playing strong. Pre-show music playing long. That's long enough, right? This is the pre-show music, so you can relax and have a good time while you wait for pictures to appear. Pre-show music, it's the best thing in the world. Pre-show music, tell me what rhymes with world. Pre-show, pre-show, pre-show music, pre-show music here. Everybody sing pre-show music. This is the pre-show music. Pre-show music, playing strong. Pre-show music, playing long. This is the pre-show music, so you can relax and have a good time while while you wait for pictures to appear pre-show music it's the best thing in the world pre-show music tell me what rhymes with world pre-show 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 music pre-show music here hey all right okay are we running is everything functioning hello rugged warrior thanks for being the first to jump into the chat and say hello so that i know that in fact things are working at least for one person no matter how many times I do these live streams, I always think I, I, I'm probably missing something. And last time I actually was. I forgot to make the stream public at the beginning. Dang it. I double-checked that this time. Audio, I think, is good. Anyway, welcome to... Um, it's not really a, an annual. I, I Every February, I uh, do some kind of a shoehorned love-themed live stream just because, you know, whatever. What else am I going to do? Uh, and it alternates... Not, you know, back and forth evenly, but it's either a games I want to love live stream or games I'm in love with live stream. 2018, I think, was the first year I did it, and that was games I'm in love with. And then 19 and 20, 2019 and 2020, were games I want to love. And then 21 was back to games I'm in love with. And once again this year, games I am in love with. And that's probably my favorite theme of all the live streams that I do because it means that I just get to play the games that I currently am really into and really enjoying and that's that's the only basis for choosing what games I might play during the live stream is the games I'm really into. I can't do it every year because sometimes there's maybe only one game that I'm really really into and I want to have some variety during each of my live streams. Um, so uh, this year I had enough. This year I had four. I mean, probably could have done one more. Darkest Dungeon is not going to be featured in the live stream tonight. Um, just because I look back, I was like, I've been playing that consecutively in a lot of live streams for about a year, year and a half. So <laughs> I'm going to ease off Darkest Dungeon. Uh, but I am excited about the lineup for tonight. Hello, Francisco. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. So you got some work to do, but you're going to be listening as you do that. Well, thank you for tuning in and jumping into chat, even just to say that. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, 55 minutes on the clock, so I don't get carried away. Uh, I'm going to play Far Cry 6. Really been enjoying this one. Let me, let me make sure my timing is kind of up to snuff first before I get too deep into this. Um, Rugged Boris has been playing a game called Solar Ash, and uh, I'm thinking Pater would hate this. <laughs> <laughs> the title sounds familiar, but I... Here, let me do this. Check. Oh, that's pretty good. Check. Yeah, we'll call that good. We'll call that... What the crap? That's the second time today that this game has kind of crashed and reset on me. Um, earlier, when I was kind of getting things ready to go, it kind of crashed on me. And I've not had problems with this game like this before today. Um, maybe really early on when I first started playing it. But anyway. So yeah, Far Cry 6. Um, I really like the Far Cry games. Um, a lot of people would say 3 is their favorite. Um, it's like every Far Cry game 
it's I really enjoy it, but there's one thing that I find significantly irritating. Um, and so I don't know that I have a favorite because it's a lot of apples and oranges comparing them. Um, Far Cry 3, uh, you just generally had um, a real solid experience there, but there would be like some timed missions or some you're going outside of the mission zone missions and just kind of dumb restrictive stuff like that. Uh, but you could reset all the all the bases, all the outposts that you take down, which was really great. Um, had some really nice features there. Four was, I think, um, four was very much like three in a lot of ways. But it, some of the story missions were extra narrow, and they put you in a room, and all you can use is this one weapon. And I'm like, well, what have I been building myself up for this whole time? If in this story mission you're going to take all my cool stuff away and have me do this psychedelic boss fight, you know, with all these limitations, lame. But other than that, man, I loved a lot of Far Cry 4. Uh, Far Cry 5? Oh, man. That was possibly my favorite one. Um, except for the story missions would kidnap you. Um, a, a lot of them would kidnap you and force you to do them at certain times. I'm like, I, I don't want to do a story mission right now. Can, can I just choose when I want to do the story mission? Um, so I found that annoying. And then also there was a whole area of that um of that world that was like lots of illusory stuff like you'd be because it's like there's drugs in the air and stuff so you're going around and uh you think it's a moose and actually it's a cougar or you think it's a cougar and actually it's just a dude you know um and i was not into that but man normal the, the the rest of the open world stuff oh loved it so much um this game, well, and New Dawn, I would say. New Dawn was pretty good, too. Uh, but it, that's kind of like an offshoot. It's not like a main entry one. This one might be my favorite, except for... Uh, I don't like the, the looting and the upgrade system as much. Um, but that even I've gotten over. What bothers me in this game is... The, the, I've, I've acquired the most powerful sniper rifle in the game, and it's still not a guaranteed one hit, kill. And that's what I want. When you have the most powerful sniper rifle in the game, which I looked up a guide to find it kind of like earlier than I would typically be able to find it. And as far as I can tell, I've leveled it up. There's nothing more I can do to make it more powerful, make it better. Maybe eventually I could acquire some gear that would give me some static bonuses to sniper rifle shots. But anyway, I'm like, uh-uh, not cool. And so I'm that's one of the things I love Far Cry games for, and I'm kind of having to say goodbye to that. Say, okay, I'm not going to scratch my sniper itch in this game. I, I don't even have it in my loadout. Like, uh, let's see, what do I have in my... Okay, let me kill this thing. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them! Good gravy! Crazy hairy pigs! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, now this game's good for that. It's good for chaos. Just like unleash chaos. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to show my weapon loadout. So, I've got this, uh, you know, machine gun Uzi type thing. I've got this, uh, automatic handgun type dealie. I've got this big old, what do you call it, like a, like a, you know, like a machine gun, like a minigun or whatever the crap. Um, and then I've got this, this, uh, rocket launcher. Which that also, when I'm shooting at helicopters, is not a one-hit kill. I'm like, are you kidding me? Far Cry 5... It very sensibly was a one-hit kill on a helicopter when I shoot it with a freaking rocket launcher. And I, 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 I've, it's taken like three shots with a rocket launcher to take down uh, a helicopter right now. So I'm not digging that. That in general, enemies are spongy in a way that I do not want them to be. And I don't know how to mitigate by getting better equipment or whatever quite yet. So I'm having to let go of some of those things that I've come to enjoy. The good news is... Another game I'm playing tonight from Ubisoft uh, definitely scratches those itches for me. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm like, I'm just approaching this one and accepting it as a different experience and finding that I, that I am enjoying it for that. Um, like, really enjoying it. I mean, like I said, I, uh, I guess I'm saying that I'm in love with this game. Now, that should be understood to be not 
agape love, the selfless love taught in scripture, um, where we sacrifice for the sake of the good of another. I'm talking about love like the uh, the American hyperbolic substanceless version. <laughs> oh, that is sad. Um, okay, so let's go find trouble. I'm going not too terribly far, but I will want at least a vehicle to get me there. Francis Zuri says, a witch far cry make France and cry the most. Hmm. Um, depends on what we mean by cry. Like, cry like, like tears of, of uh, frustration or stress or cry out. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Um, probably, I mean, I think I've, probably Far Cry 3. Uh, back when I was playing that, and you can even see this in some, some streams that, uh, some highlights of, like, uh, charity live streams that I've done in the past where I was playing Far Cry 3, where I would get scared playing that game, like dogs attacking me and stuff, and I, I think I've built just a teeny bit more tolerance, um, so that not all action games scare me when I'm wearing headphones now, but uh, that one certainly did. Here, let's, um, how do I change? Okay, here's what I want. Hi. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, he's turning the alarm on, probably. That's okay. It's like, uh, like kind of like a shooting gallery, right? Does this gun not overheat? It might not. Anyone else? I don't think it runs out of bullets either, which is kind of neat. There's the alarm. That's what that guy went and did. Honey, you got soldados heading your way. Oh, that guy's gonna be trouble. He's got a rocket launcher. I should, I should get out. Oh! Somebody was right next to me shooting at me. I can't see the, where the people are. They're shooting. It says they're really close, but I, uh... Feel like... Feel like I'm right... Oh! You're right there! You sneaky! Okay. Well... Is there somebody up there? Maybe not. There's lots of bomby, explodey things. Oh, he's got a... Somebody... has got a rocket launcher or something? I'm not sure what... Oh, hey! Oh, that's my friend. I think maybe I can't tell. Where are you guys? Oh, someone's growling. Oh. Oh, he's got like armor. Oh, man! Okay. There we go. 
Okay. Oh, Tears of Pain, Francisco Ruiz clarifies. I think any kind of tears that I was going to cry in a Far Cry game would be... F hmm. Maybe four. There was one particular boss fight in four. There was the psychedelic one that I was kind of talking about. That I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to beat this. Hey. It was very frustrating. Um, yeah. Over here, my friend. You got something for me? Guerrilla. There's a checkpoint guerrilla. The for supply lines. Take it out before things get I like to say close. guerrilla. All right. Hi. The military will forget. Go willing. Lots of good stuff to collect. Like to pick things up. Check boxes. Hmm. I should change weapons. I mean, like, if I turn a corner and there's some guy there, I don't want to be firing off one of these things. So let's, uh... But I do also need to refill my ammo somewhere. Hopefully there's a little stash around here somewhere. There often is. Someone in the comments to the promo for this stream said, uh, <laughs> Ubisoft should sponsor me. <laughs> because three of the four games I'm playing tonight are Ubisoft games. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I just, I like the games that they make. It's, it's, you know, that's very similar open-world DNA. They tend to um, create games with uh, a realistic, quote-unquote, aesthetic. And with great attention to, um, to like, Foley detail. I, I really like auditory design, sound effects, things like that. And so, all those things together, I just like moving around in the world's that Ubisoft makes. Uh, let's see, there I am. Oh, I'm in a rank 9 area. Let's let's dial this back. I'm trying to get take these areas out roughly in order of uh, their rank, because that indicates their difficulty a bit. There's actually some story missions here that I haven't done. So why don't we... Why don't we... Oh, I can't go to... I can't fast travel? Is that because I'm in a... Why can I not fast travel? Let's try again. Maybe they were just confused for a moment. Huh. Is it, like, there that it's not available? Okay, so I can fast travel here. Alright, well, let's do that. I don't know what's wrong with that base. Um, Francisco Ruiz asks, uh, What cheat code from a game do you wish you had in real life, but it only lasted one day? Hello. Oh, well, invincibility. Uh... Hello. Okay. I mean, that would be a pretty amazing day. <laughs> that I'm pretty sure would start uh, with me in an airplane. Um, and very quickly involve me being on the ground. That, that would be like the first... If I was invincible, the first thing I'd want to do is jump out of a plane with no parachute. That's, that's a, a minor fantasy of mine. Um, all the thrill of flying. That's why when, like, people would always ask that classic question of if you could have one superpower, what would it be? And people would say flying. I'm like, you're wasting it. You're wasting your wish. You choose invincibility, and you can close enough experience flying, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> I would think invincibility is going to be... Uh, like the most useful too. Like if I know this is going beyond your question because in your question only lasts a day. The answer is still the same. But if it was like a long-term, lifelong power, I mean, if I'm invincible, then like I, I'm, you know, hero for hire, mercenary for hire, whatever, you know, one man army. Point me to the dictator, and then I just go. Um, I mean, I guess if I'm not super strong, they could like capture me and starve me, maybe? I don't know. It depends on our concept of invincibility here, but... I don't know. I feel like uh, invincibility is definitely the way to go. Now, what is this? What am I going to do here? We need the fifth... Oh, so I got to recruit somebody? Okay. I'm going to go and, I guess, try to recruit this guy. Hey. 
And let's get our special little helicopter here. You know, these games are, you know, they're just chill if you want them to be chill. And that's what I want. I typically don't want them to be too intense. And it, with the difficulty settings on easy... Oh, somebody's gonna talk. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, oh, yes. put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. This is Clara Garcia, and it's time we heard from the real Yara for once. Huh. So I'm supposed to... How do I put my... Oh yeah, let's see here. Holster. So he's saying just walk in? I can't imagine these guys... Will they let me? Hi. Hola. Hola. Ah, oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a tourist. I'm just a tourist. Our revolution begins with the seduction of the weak. Propaganda pushed by Professor Santos. Is that Diego? Poor kid never had a chance. Oh, Diego, the voice on the recording. Okay. Okay. The camera adds 10 pounds, Carlito. Don't worry. What took you so long? Hey. El Tigre, what are you doing? Are you not worried about getting recognized? Don't worry. I brought markers for autographs. One for me, one for you. That's not what I meant. This museum used to be dedicated to us legends. But Castillo rewrote history to make us look like villains. He even found a way to paint Carlito in a bad light. I wonder what history will say about us. They will say, this was the day when two legends walked into a museum and three walked out. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm carving. We have Kit Kats. And trying to help my wife out by uh, eating them. We have lots of Kit Kats. These are left over from Halloween. There's a big old bag of them. We thought we were going to get a whole lot more than we got. <laughs> as far as Halloween visitors. So... I'm not sure what he's thinking we're going to do here. Liberate Carlito. This is not Carlito, right? Who... Baby Tigre. Oh, okay. Let's get Carlito before I punch him. Okay. Where's Carlito? I thought you were going to lead me to him. Do I need to take the lead now? All right. I guess I'll take the lead. Hey, um... He's probably down here somewhere, like in a... Okay. There's a tank here. I'm not, I'm not a... I know this. Let's see. Oh. What were you expecting? He's Carlito. Great. Okay. So that's what we're trying to get out with is that oh. So I guess I need to kill people. Let's do that then. I'm gonna draw suspicion anyway. Dish 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 dish. 
Better watch myself here. So this tank doesn't work, right? One alarm remaining. Oh, hey. I've got the gun. You take the wheel. Get us out of here. Carlitos busted. I can't exactly carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. Okay, that should help keep, like, helicopters from coming, hopefully. All right, Francisco says, uh, does invincibility mean no pain or just nothing can kill you? Are you going to be a puddle that is still alive after you hit the ground? Oh no, invincibility means can't get hurt. Uh, so no pain because no injury of any kind. So it's, it's all in one, baby. All right, are we just... Oh, he's gunning, so I'm driving? Is that... Do I... And we're done repairing, okay. Where do I... Do I... Oh, enter his driver, okay. Here I go. All right. Carlito! Baby Tigre, you did it! You should have saved from the beginning Carlito was a tank. Where are the controls here? Is my shoot gun? Where's the uh pri oh primary weapons A, gotcha. Okay. Take a left at the road. Get to the nearby bridge. Nothing will stand in our way. Alright. Okay. Man, I hope he's right that nothing can stop us, because I can imagine this going south pretty quickly and easily. <clears throat> Need to get Carlito to the cave in one piece, okay? Is this it? I got the flares up. What? I haven't had this much fun since Lobo's day. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. Now's not the time. This is pretty fucking fun. Remember what I said he was? Listen, I love another story about you, Lobo, the Legends, Todo, but I'm busy right now. Yeah, you're right. Carlito must have his revenge. Good gravy. Oh my gosh. Ah. There we go. Not in the water. I don't have a sense of how my tank is doing. I feel like it might not be doing great. Um, through the water? Okay. Oh, special forces. Oh, jeez. Come on now. Hey, El Tigre! Carlito's pretty old and taking a beating. Is he even going to make it? Baby Tigre. No one can kill Carlito. Man. 
man, I don't know if that's true. I think Carlito's my new favorite legend. I'll pretend you didn't say that. Good, I get it. Oh, crap. This water makes me nervous. Oh, I think this is it. Is this it? Okay, look out, people. Yes! All right. Jeremiah Potter says, Have you tried Riders Republic? If you're a fan of the standard Ubisoft game, it may appeal to you. It's a map-clearing, open-world extreme sports title. Pretty neat, if that's your thing. Um, I haven't. I've got Ubisoft's The Crew 2. Um, which is an open-world, driving, racing, you know, all kinds of vehicles type of game. Um, which... I was enjoying for a little while, and I keep saying I want to put more time into, but there's always something else that I want a little bit more. I think I also like driving and riding in a city environment so that there are people that can potentially get run over, and so my vehicle can start getting bashed up, and um, I like, there's something funny about the, the ragdoll physics and the way and that idea of, you know, it, it's like, it's kind of like the fantasy when you're driving in traffic and you're just like, I just want to mow through this traffic right now. And of course, you know that you can't do that. It'd be horrible to do that. But, uh, so there's something kind of funny and strangely gratifying about just kind of bumping recklessly around traffic in a city type setting. Even as, you know, as your car, like in the Saints Row games, totally starts getting mangled and messed up as you're doing that. So I found that, like, as I've explored the idea of an open-world vehicles-only game, that it it isn't quite what I want it to be. I kind of want... Um, I kind of want that in the context of some other kind of open-world, open-city game. But... You're right that uh, in thinking that that there's a lot in it that that would and does appeal to me um, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I don't think I need that. Okay, gotta check out all the notes in case they help me check a box. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, wait, okay, no, I already, I already covered that one. All right. Okay. So, I, boy, I got this tank now. I guess that's kind of neato. What else could I do here? Um, do, 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 do. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it sounds like this, this guy, Hugo... A loose-lipped guerrilla named Hugo is being interrogated at the Grand Hotel Caballero. Hugo knows the location of La Morale's HQ. Make sure the regime doesn't. So I don't... It sounds like I don't have to save him. Like, I'm not a fan of, like, rescue this AI and make sure that they don't get killed on the way out, even though they're dumb as rocks <laughs> and will get killed really easily. Not into that kind of mission. But... Go see this AI and get him out or kill him is what it sounds like would work to fulfill the uh, the objective. So let's go do that. Um, let's see here. That's over there. Can I fast travel here yet? I still can't. I wonder if there's something going on in that environment. Um that keeps me from being able to fast travel right there. 
Uh, Ray McCann, welcome. Says uh, this is such a blessing after a rough week. Thanks, brother. Oh, gl I'm glad to hear it and Bye. glad to Bye. glad to do it. So I'm glad you get something out of it. I've said a number of times. I uh, I um I don't really get the appeal of watching live streamers for the most part. There have been some rare exceptions. Um, I've tuned in to Francisco now and then. That's because I know him, you know. Uh, but even that, I'm still not like a regular viewer of his streams. And people that I like, I don't know. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that those of you tuning in to my live streams get something out of it, because I don't get it. <laughs> um, am I going the right way? Oh, yeah, okay. So the, Oh, oh, that's going to cause me problems. Okay, you know what? Let's go take care of that first. Let's go take care of that first. Um, see, there's a, there's like a anti-aircraft thing setup that's going to give me problems. In fact, let me mark it on my map. That's actually where I want to go next. I'm going to have to give it a wide berth. Because if I get in range of it, it's going to give me a warning and then shoot me down. Probably just over this mountain. Like once I'm in line of sight to it or something, maybe? Watch, let's see here. They're gonna give me their message? They're gonna give me their warning? That says trespassing. They're not calling me yet. The oh, there we go! In restricted airspace. Attention, pilot. Land now, or you will be fired upon. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, settle down. Okay, let's, uh... Let's just stop here. I bet Yankees love this place. Probably still smells like cheese. There are these missions you can do that are basically like... They're kind of like races. You go to these locations and there's a little radio message there that'll say, Go to get, get to this place really fast! And they usually leave you like a vehicle you can take or you're on a cliff you can jump off of and use a wingsuit, you know, and it's supposed to be this big old challenge, this traversal challenge set up for you. Um, but I just make a point in each of these areas of, of taking down all the anti-aircraft cannons, and then whenever I see one of those kind of race missions on the map, I just bring my little helicopter, <laughs> and I park it next to the radio, then I activate the signal, and I get in my little helicopter, and I just fly there really fast. Fast and easy. All right. Now, let's see here. See, now, in past Far Cry games, I would find a spot like this, and I'd get out my sniper rifle, and I'd start picking them off, and then I'd go in. But you can't really do that, which is a bit of a bummer. But that is okay, because I don't die very easily with the settings I have on. And so for the most part, I could just run and gun. Unleash chaos! Let's see, let's have our, uh... Yeah, that's a little slow to get... Let's see, is this any faster? Let's, uh, let's be ready to swap between these two. I think, yeah, I think this is good, so let's, uh... Now I'm thinking maybe I can just get up on this hill here and maybe just mow them down. I mean, they're standing kind of in a row. 
You know what might be even better? Okay. Watch yourself, Danny. I think these guys better watch themselves, but I think. Here I am. Oh. I love aim assist. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. There we go. Well, where's the... Oh, I need the nuclear material. Helps my guy make resolver weapons. Re... Reso... Resolver. Re... Resolver... Resol... Resolver... For my guerrillas. I took Spanish in uh, high school, hoping that I would get somehow a free t TV channel out of it. <laughs> so this is before there was YouTube. You know, back in the day, we didn't have many options, especially if you weren't paying for cable, which my family was not. Um, but there was Telemundo, and I thought, oh, maybe I could watch some of that channel. If I knew what they were saying, maybe I'd find some enjoyment from it. But... Uh, Two years of Spanish, or whatever the crap that was in high school, didn't bring that about. Alright, we good? I think we're good. I think we... Oops, here's some more. I mean, I got the best stuff here, but I do like to... make a clean sweep of the dungeon, as it were. Now, what else? What else can we do? Where else can we go? Oh, that's right, we were heading here, and we were going to fly there. Can I find my helicopter? My helicopter, I've, I left it way too far behind. Let's steal this boat, though. There's guys here with boats I could have. Right? Okay. Hey! Man, that guy was committed. He was on fire and still choosing to shoot at me. That's commitment to a cause. There we go. Well, hello, the blocker. Thanks for jumping into chat. I wish I knew the Miami Vice theme song. That would feel very appropriate right about now. I never watched Miami Vice. I can't remember if it was a show my parents frowned upon, or it was just not one that they were ever interested in. All right, well, what do we got here? Oh, can't quite make it. Oh, here, though. This will work better. There we go. Good job, guerrilla. Okay. Ow. Uh, yes, the blocker. I have gotten the hovercraft. I was just using it before you jumped in chat, like, to, to get myself set up for that last place I was unleashing chaos in. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I 
I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, okay. I can't even remember what this mission is about, but hey, some guy says, get in the back of my van. I can sneak you past the guards. I'm all over that. Gee, <coughs> you're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate <clears throat> dentists. Or are we gonna kill a dentist? They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Who's this guy? Already in position and ready to help. Oh, he's got crazy eyes. Look at that. Listen, uh, I don't know if I want any of what you got going on. I, I work better alone anyway. <laughs> We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. I'm gonna have another Kit Kat. Man, this feels like the 24 hour marathon with all this candy I've got here. I am carving early. In part, we've got we've got the quote unquote Super Bowl party on Sunday. Nobody's gonna watch the game in this house unless we get some surprise guests. Well, Holly might watch a little bit. But we still buy food for it. So I'm gonna carve for that. Monday's Valentine's Day, special dinner. Gonna carve for that. And then uh, Holly and the boys are going to be gone next weekend. Three-day weekend. Me all by myself. I'm going to take my consoles, put them out in our main room with our home theater, pull out the surround sound speakers from the closet, and hook those suckers up. I'm going to be carbon and vig gaming like crazy for three days next weekend. So I'm kind of getting started early. There's just too many... <sighs> Too many way too good opportunities to carb. Hmm. Francisco Ruiz, who knows I'm a fan of John Carpenter, or at least John Carpenter's The Thing, says, Saw John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness for the first time last week. Have you seen it? If so, I have questions, lol. I have not. There are very few John Carpenter movies... I've not seen, I think, at this point, that may be one of the few that I haven't. Um, and it's not that I'm a huge fan. Actually, his movies can be really hit or miss for me. Um, so, no, I haven't seen it. But I've seen trailers, and I'm like, oh, I think I might need to put this on my bucket list. Hotel on a mountain. Looks fancy. Piano del Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like the place isn't taking reservations. <clears throat> when Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Bing. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. What a beautiful set of teeth you come for, Sano. Oh. Now tell me, Hugo, where is La Morale's headquarters? Fuck you! Hija de puta! Oh, is that her down there? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so maybe, uh... We already know the Garriata are in Oh, I think I've been spotted. Okay. Well, here we go, then. Okay. Oh, hey. Good gravy. Oh, hey. Oh, there's the dentist. I think I got her. Elena, the dentist is dead. La morale is safe. For now. <sighs> That's fucking great news, Danny. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm dead. All right, stop the plot for a minute. I got 
papers to read. <coughs> mm. oh, let's see here. Sorry, I'm gonna scan these. <laughs> I'm going to scan these without reading them aloud. I mean, I suppose streaming etiquette normally is read stuff out loud for people that are watching. But, you know, there's a good number of F-bombs littered throughout this game, and if I just get on a roll... <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Taking it. They've tortured the last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Fuck that shit. Guerrilla. <clears throat> What's going on? Whoa. Oh. I thought I was tripping out or something. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is... Hey, Gabriel Stinson. Am I right? Gonna play some Miles Morales Don't with my kids. Should be back after bedtime. Enjoy. Great game. Great game. <clears throat> That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Francisco Ruiz says, I will say this for me, uh, the Prince of Darkness. He says, started off strong and then lost me with what I think it was trying to say theologically. Another JC movie that I saw recently was The Fog and loved it. They, uh, okay, interesting. They have support. <clears throat> Libertad and the legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Hand picked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever <clears throat> to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. I don't think there's uh I don't think she's in a an emotionally healthy place. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well we just got about five minutes left with this one. Let's pick up this exclamation point. Get this little bit of treasure over here. Where's the treasure? They don't call it treasure, it's something else. Some kind of, uh... Equipment something or other. Stash. Come on, we know what it is. It's treasure. Treasure chest. Right... Oh! I thought it was gonna be right there. Ugh. It's in some room that I... Do not have easy... Oh, use key! Ha-ha! There we go. Well, what else could I do? You know what? Let's go take out this checkpoint right here. Yeah. What kind of vehicle we got around here? Ooh, let's, let's look a truck looking thing. Oh, yeah, this is the truck we came in. There's something about driving around in the cars in. 
Far Cry games that I really enjoy. I, I enjoy how they are not these awesome cars. They're a clunky and there's just something very I, it's because they're clunky it's because they're bumpy and rattle around and stuff that that makes that that puts me in them all the more than if I was in some awesome smooth you know dream machine and you know not having the best view i remember like a friend of mine was uh being introduced to Far Cry 5 for the first time recently. We've been playing that together. Um, and I could tell he had, like, mixed feelings about, like, not being able to drive the car in third person. But it's not that kind of game. This isn't a game about great precision driving. It's about them trying to kind of put make you feel like you're in the world uh, a bit. Oh, Okay. So they popped my tires. They put a, a, a strip down. Fucking truck. Oh my gosh! Look, I'm committed too! I'm on fire! But, oh, I have to put it out. Dang it. I thought I, thought I was going to be committed to my cause. <laughs> but, <laughs> not enough. Have to put the fire out. Priorities. Hey. Okay. Now we have to blow up the poster, right? Where's the where's the poster? Not that poster. There's usually a. Oh, it's over here. The billboard. That's what you call it. There we go. Nice. Normally there's music playing, you know, or I don't know what they'd play, some Mexican music or whatever. Um, I, I like to play Ubisoft games mostly without the score. I, I did play this for a while with the score, but after a while I'm like, I don't want music. I just want the sounds of the environment. The Foley sounds, the sounds of me moving through the environment. This could be useful. What do you got? Danny, want to turn some evil fucking soldados into dead ones? We're throwing together a squad for an ambush, and we want the best. We need you. Whoa. Gracias, gracias. There are also some some games that, like, I turn the music off because it's just one more thing stressing me out. And I'm like, all the other elements of this game, I can, I can handle as far as, like, the challenge level and stuff, but... The, the, the music is just one step too far, so I, I'll turn the music off so I won't get stressed out. And some games I'll even realize, once I turn the music off, I'm like, boy, this game isn't as hard as I felt like it was when, I, when the music was on. <laughs> oh, look at these goodies. Nice. Military can't run supplies through here anymore. And even just the simple sound effects of like picking stuff up, really satisfying. Great work, Guerrilla. It's like that satisfying jingle of coins in fantasy RPGs when you pick up a treasure chest. All right. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Crap. Okay, you know I need to fast travel anyway. There's no manual save in this game, which I think is lame. Um, I'll bet I can... No, I still can't fast travel there. That's really weird. Um, but it it auto-saves every time you fast travel to a, a location you, you know, you've unlocked. Um, so that's how I manually save. <laughs> and sometimes it'll go for stretches without auto-saving. I noticed that earlier today. I lost probably about 20 minutes of progress in the open world, just kind of checking boxes, and then it crashed on me, and all those boxes were unchecked again. That was not cool. All right, but this is otherwise a very cool game. Really love this experience. Just feels good to play. But I'm moving on. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Gabriel Stinson says, gotta love those crunchy boots. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Still in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of making a Christian Geek Central 
crunchy boots t-shirt. <laughs> It is time again for Christian Geek Central's annual Game Save event, fundraising for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, which provides free treatment for children facing life or death circumstances and shares its cutting edge life saving research with hospitals all over the world. You're still welcome to join the Game Save team by following the link in the description below. And once again this year, I'm drawing attention to our team's fundraising by performing a 24 hour marathon of video gaming that I will stream live on youtube.com slash Christian Geek Central beginning 6 a.m. Pacific Time on Saturday, November 5th. You can donate or get more info by clicking on my fundraising page in the links below where you'll also find incentives and rewards for doing so. For $5, choose a topic for me to share my sometimes overly strong opinions on during my live stream. For $10, you get the previous reward and a download code for a free copy of the Spirit Blade Special Edition audio drama. For $20, you get the previous rewards and you can choose a game for me to play during my November 5th live stream, pick a favorite, or torture me with something terrible or rage-inducingly difficult. For $30, you get the previous rewards and you can choose a song for me to sing during my November 5th live stream, pick an old favorite of yours, or just make me humiliate and torture myself with something no one wants to hear. And for $50, you get the previous rewards and a download code for every MP3 product at spiritblade.com. That's a $90 value. On top of that, I have set fundraising milestones that will unlock strange and unusual happenings as I reach them. At $200, I'll have a free download day for everyone who visits spiritblade.com on November 12th. And as my total goes beyond $200, I'll unlock increasingly more content for the free download day. And depending on how far beyond $200 my fundraising goes during my November 5th live stream, I will cover my face in peanut butter and jelly while talking about horror movies, put on a pair of frozen socks and a frozen t-shirt at the same time, shoot water up my nose with a turkey baster, and have my wife Holly play a video game with me for 30 minutes. And if I reach a personal fundraising total of $500 or more, I will resume and complete, before the end of the year, my live stream Let's Play series for Fallout out New Vegas as a Terminator, I like your gun, attempting to do so in a single sitting. That could take as much as 20 hours or more based on how long to beat.com averages. We will find out together if I reach $500. Finally, if I reach my $500 goal by the end of Thursday, October 20th, I will do a four-hour live stream before the end of the year playing only the most frustratingly difficult games in my collection. Since my last Get Good live stream, I've added some more titles to the list that will probably be like beating my face against a wall. And you can bring that about if you help me reach $500 by the end of October 20th. Now, there are some stipulations and time limits on those rewards and milestones, so quickly follow the link below to my fundraising page for all the details. I hope you'll be a part of helping me and the Christian Geek Central Game Save team do some good for some kids who really need it. Uh, and then please join me at youtube.com slash Christian Geek Central for my 24-hour marathon starting at 6 a.m. Pacific Time on Saturday, November 5th. Hope to see you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is all kinds of wrong.